So this test has been advised by quite a few people, including some of my very good doctors, um, and it's called the cell differentiation uh, markers. So this test provides a snapshot of the immune system uh, condition in the body. And I got some very interesting results here. So I have a CD8 T suppressor a bit lower uh, in the range from 0 0.40 to 1. So just, uh, just a bit lower in this range. Then I also got some interesting result with the natural killer cells. So uh, CD56 and CD16, um, these are the natural killer cells that in my case it looks like more um, than provided in a range. And what's the, what was the conclusion of the doctor that actually uh, looked at these results was that reduced number of CD8 plus T cells noted and it's the feature of many chronic autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, SOS, um, Sjogren syndrome, etc, uh, etc. Et so I feel like now we already have some ground where we can actually catch what's going on because basically these are the cells that react to the shot mostly. That's why I think this is very valuable to share these results because if someone else has the same, um, you can basically just kind of confirm that you have the same situation. Uh, and also maybe if you haven't done this and you're also suffering from them, some weird side effects, at least you can compare and see if you have the same situation. Another very interesting test that I got, this one is a very new test, which basically um, doesn't just show you whether you had the virus or not, but it can also differentiate um, the viral antibodies and the spike protein antibodies, which I find is pretty amazing. So um, I got the results and it says that I've never had the, uh, I hadn't, I've never had the virus itself, but it shows me, um, it shows me the number of the spike proteins, which is just incredible. Like this test, uh, this test wasn't available maybe half a year, one year ago, but now it's possible to differentiate this. And uh, before that, you could just get either positive or negative. Um, or just say if you had a, you had a shot, and then it would just say, okay, you have antibodies. But it was very hard to say whether it was naturally from the virus or from the shot. But now you can differentiate, and it's pretty cool. So uh, I don't know if it's a typo or not, but the range is 49.9 to 50, <laughs> which gives it 0. Um, one kind of range so in my case it kind of confirms that i had a shot and the number of the spike proteins is 259.8 again i don't see any scale whether it's a high low uh, because i just have this range uh, with the 0 0.1 uh, in the between that's why if someone knows please leave your comment but these are my findings. So I would just say that the most important part from these findings would be cell differentiation markers because this one is definitely a bit out of control. This is something I'm going to have a look at. And uh, please let me know if you have the same kind of test, uh, if you have the same kind of results. I would be very interesting to see uh, what's on your side. And I hope it helps someone because um, this is definitely a catch. This is definitely, this even could be the case why we're experiencing this problem. So there is something there which is causing some autoimmune uh, diseases, etc. So this is something to investigate. So yeah, thank you very much.